<laughs> I have to make this look really good. Trouble to handle. Uh, oh. My goodness me. Why, well, Mr. Chandler, what are you doing playing houseboy? Here, here, let me help you. Get off those weak little pigs. Who are you? You don't have to carry me. <laughs> well, I could. You're light as a feather. Oh, we'll have to build you up after you're recovered. Here, here, sit down. Who the devil are you? Oh, Clotilda Weeks. RN, real nurse. <laughs> Actually, I just got my LPN. I finished 90th in my class. All righty, now here, you sit down here. Nice and easy. There you are. Oh. This isn't happening. Well, you've been a very bad boy. Can you get your fingers out of my <laughs> This is poison steak, sour cream. Mm. Mm. Where's the cyanide? I would like for you to go. Did you make this mess? My daughter will be here any minute. That sweet little girl, Haley, that hired me, you're going to make her clean this up? And I would like for you to be gone when she arrives. Well, that would go against my medical vows for my medical profession. I am all that stands between you and another brain fry. That is nurse speak for stroke. Oh, uh, my Aunt Irene. Oh, you two would have made quite a couple. I would give a flying fig for your Aunt Irene. She used to fry in deep lard all her food. Why, her salad looked like tempura. God rest her soul. Oh, 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 oops. Never fear, Mr. Mr. Chandler. I have been taught to tamper, uh, pamper my patients from top to bottom. I mean, hell. I should call. Hello, but, but I already called. They said the nurse is already there. I hope she's good. Relax. I'm sure Adam's in great hands. Okay. I will spell it out for you. Go. Just C-O, go. A nurse's job is to take care of her patient at all times. There's nothing wrong with my blood pressure. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, all right. Here we go. It's too tight. Relax, relax. You're cutting off my circulation. Whoa, we are off the charts here. It's too tight. You're killing me. All right, chill, chill, chill. That won't be good for the resume. You're a menace. Breathe in, out, in. I know how to breathe. Oh, come on. Now, come on. All this ranting and raving is not good on an old ticker. There's nothing wrong with my heart. A calm heart is a healthy heart. You're here to finish me off, aren't you? Oh, 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 oh. Who's behind it? Oh, Mr. Paranoia just crept into those brain inner circuits, didn't they? No, I <laughs> won't go down without a fight. Oh, oh, the aura is not good in here. Here, let me set the mood. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Let me see. <laughs> Music. What is this? What is this? Some sort of a seduction? You lay one hand on me, so oh, help for God. You silly man. Now, this is from the Healthy Heart, Healthy Mind series, Wood Chimes. Very soothing. It's torture. It's torture. It's just, just slow, painful death. Did my wife send you? No, I told you. Well, Haley would never do this to me. Haley? Paul McCartland. Uh, Paul McCartland. He's behind this, isn't he? He's paying you, isn't he? I'm not in this for the money. My call to duty is to extend a higher standard of medical care 
to all persons, regardless of their rotten dispositions. You, no doubt, will be my greatest challenge. I demand to see your diploma. It's home, framed. Oh, you're a fraud. I'm a nurse! Oh, tell you. No one is out to get you, Mr. Chandler, but you. I came here on a mission of mercy, to perform a selfless act of goodwill. Do you know what that means? No. No, you don't know what that means because your heart is, is teeming with, with spite and selfish schemes. I feel so sorry for your poor Haley and her hubby. They wanted me here to keep your brain from turning to toast. But why they care, I can't begin to imagine. Because, my dear, you are no day at the beach. <laughs> Unless you like swimming with sharks! Nurse Wicks, quick. They won't send another one. Well, at least we know he's well enough to scare off the nurses, right? Dr. Shimatori said he could have another stroke. Oh, we can't leave him in that house Look, alone. he's not going to take that big of a risk with his health, all right? He doesn't have a death wish. He has lost everything and everyone he cares about. Believe me, your father's not there, and I have to hand it to him because he knows what he wants and he knows how to get it. No, this is different. Maybe so, okay? It might be different, but there's an outside chance that he's using this situation to get people back into his life. Well, you know what? It's working. Now look, I know his rap sheet, but he is still my father, and I love him, and if anything happened to him, I'd never forgive myself. Wait, 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 wait. Don't you think I should go with you? No, I don't. It's just going to make things worse. If he sees you, he's going to get all excited. That's the last thing he needs. I'm just, I'm just going to go about myself. Did you really sick that, 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 that walking nightmare on me to make what me... What did you do to her? She, uh, what did I do to her? She tried to kill me. She was sent here to help you. To keep you from pressing the self-destruct button. I don't need strangers. I, I need my family around me, Haley. You. That's the only you medicine. You need to See, listen to your doctors. I'm not an invalid. You will be if you're not careful. Never. How are you feeling? I'm feeling much better now. All right, that's it. I'm staying the night. Oh, Haley, I couldn't ask you Don't to do that. Don't no. argue. No, your place is with Mateo. He understands. No, he'll, he'll, he'll assume that I've manipulated you and I've used my condition to... He's been wonderful. He's done everything he can to help. Yeah, I'm sure he has. Dad... You make me nuts. But I love you. You need someone to take care of you now. And I'm it. Thank you, my sweetheart. My beautiful, beautiful child. Thank you for loving me, even when I don't deserve it. Blonde, bedroom eyes, fantastic kisser. It hasn't been that long, has it? Just one endlessly lonely night. Oh, I bet you slept like a baby. Didn't even close my eyes. I can picture you now curled up with your remote control and classic cars digest, a big bowl of caramel corn. 
So how's life at a uh, hey Chandler? <laughs> Pick an adjective at random. Infuriating, excruciating. So your pop's giving you grief? So far, I've caught him raining the refrigerator, cheating at checkers, and phoning the local radio station so he could argue that both Ivan's The Terrible and Boski were two of history's unsung heroes. Business as usual, huh? Yeah, you know, things that would spike most people's blood pressure seems to tranquilize dear old dad. Sounds familiar. Oh, yeah. I mean, no pre-stroke warnings on my watch. Looks like dad's out of the woods. Color me home by dinner. Good morning, sweetheart. Morning, Dad. How are you feeling? Like I could run a marathon. Is that Mateo? You tell him I'm sending you packing. <laughs> Don't need a nursemaid around here. That when I'm feeling perfectly... Oh, oh my God. I gotta go. It's my father. Dad, what happened? What's the matter? Do you need a doctor? Dad? Hi. Hi, Dad. Why is he being so friendly? Marilyn, sing happy birthday again. Will you get off the set. Don't go rank now. It's been dying food This is not the time. Well, then make time. I'm having lunch with Grandmama in New York. Ask not what your country can do for you. Well, this is the last time. Would you please leave? No, not before we sort out my deal. I can't possibly start before 11, and I can't stay after 3. Of course, I'll also, uh, would like my own dressing room. In staff decorator and a personal trainer. I've lost him. <gasps> JFK has dematerialized. Who's this dotty old lady? The name is Esme Clitheroe. I am a clairvoyant. Who are you? Well, if you're such a clairvoyant, why don't you just pluck my name from the cosmos? You know, I thought I would just sit here until some idiot stopped tape. I'm sorry, Miss Colby. Yeah, I you tried should to be stop. sorry. How dim are you? How dim are you? Did you not see the red light flashing on camera one? Oh, was that my uh, cue to do such a cue to butt out? We are taping a show for February sweeps. Well, uh, you should thank me. I mean, these uh, psychics are so impossibly hokey. Oh, thank you not to insult my guest, Jillian. Well, chatting up dead people is so dreary. <sighs> Why talk to spirits of Princess Past when you have a, a live whale right here next to you? I'll forgive you for not recognizing me. I am Princess Jillian Andrash. Oh, <laughs> it's proof positive that a princess can be even more a royal pain in the butt. Then a poltergeist, Mrs. Clithrow, I'm so sorry. I, I wouldn't blame you for just walking out. But if you, if you care to try again, we can roll tape immediately before we were so rudely interrupted. Oh, don't, don't mind me. Just pretend I don't exist. Gladly. We're back on in five, four, so tell three... Me. How handsomely can a princess live off your take-home pay? Why don't you head back to the station? Um, they make it real quick. Listen, in your history with your Uncle Adam, do you have any knowledge of uh, him using or faking sickness to get sympathy? You said you're going to make this quick. I, I, I know. So, so you're saying that there has been presidents, right? Well, volumes, man. Why? You think he's, uh, you think he's scamming? I don't know, but, uh, there's only one way to find out. What happened just now? I, I don't know. I was feeling perfectly fine. It, it just, my left leg, it just gave out from under me. Well, how is it now? Can you move it? Oh, damn. All right, that's it. I'm calling Dr. Shimatori. No, no, no. Why, why pester a neurologist when my foot went to sleep? Dad, this could be another TIA. No, it isn't. I'm sure it isn't. And what if it is? What good is a doctor? What I need is a little rest and relaxation and some quality time with my daughter. I haven't seen nearly enough of you these days. Dad, you know why that is as well as I do. I miss you. Thanksgiving was a travesty. Me eating alone at the Valley Inn. Dad, you know, our Thanksgiving was no turkey trot either. Mateo feels that he doesn't have a lot to be thankful for. 
He still blames you for his sister's death. Do you blame me too? What is this water? I'll go get you some more. Yes, I'll uh, I'll set up the chessboard if I can. Chandler, I have a bone to pick with you. Well, I assume that carnivorous metaphor has something to do with Liza. You couldn't leave my daughter alone, could you? You had to drag her right back into your lair where she was most vulnerable. And now the poor darling imagines that she's still in love with you. Well, I have a bulletin for you, Marion. She never stopped loving me, not for an instant. Oh, no, there you're quite wrong. Liza was horrified by what you did and finally saw you for the assassin that you truly are. So how you managed to win her heart back again is truly beyond me. Well, when they write the end of our love story, you can read all about it. Oh, you're so sure of yourself, aren't you, Adam? So damnably smug. Well, let me warn you right now, darling. You hurt my daughter again, and you'll live just long enough to regret it. The last thing in the world I want is to hurt Liza. I've done enough of that already. Your regrets... Come far too late, Adam. So just forget any illusions you have about getting my daughter back. Because it won't happen, because I won't let it. I was right. Liza still loves me. And we're clear. Oh, thank you. I think we got exactly what we wanted. Before I was so rudely interrupted. I, I, again, I, I apologize. Do you have any idea how much that little stunt of yours put me over budget? Well, you should pay me for spicing up a dull interview. Man, just treat me to something wild and outrageous before I die of boredom. As a princess, don't you have some official waving to do? Instead of criticizing me for a job in which I'm uniquely qualified, perhaps you have a ribbon you could cut somewhere at a new car wash or a nacho hut. Given that your attention span is about as short as your hemline, and, of course, your expertise in television production is about as vast as a strip mall, maybe you'd like to do something for which you are uniquely qualified. Say, walking the streets. Uh, coffee break. <clears throat> Why don't I take care of Julian while you enjoy your latte in the relative quiet of your office, huh? Who decided that she should come on board? Dad, I inspire him. Oh, I can imagine. Okay, Liza, whatever Jillian did, I'm sure... She interrupted a taping. Look, it could have been worse, right? Could have been live. Spare me your tarnished silver lining, Scott. Did you, listen, did you get the yes, show? Yes, eventually did, did I did get, get the show, the show but that's not the point. What, what is? The point is that I own this station and, and... And and sometimes things happen. Yes. That you cannot control, like a botched taping. Or whatever's still going down between you and Adam. Oh, no. This has nothing to do with Adam. Really? Yes. So if Adam, Adam hadn't knocked your life uh, off its orbit, you'd still be taking Jillian's head off? I don't think so. Yep. A little tilt down, John. With her, you stand too close, you hear the ocean. Get her out of here now. Liza? Yes? Phone call. Take a message. She said it was urgent. Who? Well, forget it. Hello, Liza. Can you get over here ASAP? Haley, what's wrong? It's my father. I think he's had another attack. What, did you call the hospital? He won't let me. Are you, uh, Haley, are you sure this isn't one of his tricks? Please, I wish. Look, just come. Maybe you can convince him to have a doctor look at him. I'm on my way. Don't be here when I get back. Well, you cut quite a dashing figure. Thank you. And this is the lovely outfit I have on. Oh, you look stunning. Oh, <laughs> really? Such meaning. Hello? Hmm. Come on, let's just go. No, 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 just a minute. I 
Adam, come on. We're past fashion and lane, now we're verging on rude. Making an entrance is never a bad form. Yeah, well, unless your stomach's growling, I skip lunch. We miss the cocktail buffet. Just let the little people settle down a bit. I want all eyes on us when we walk through that door. Yeah, well, Brooke won't miss me when I start fainting from hunger. Well, I'm sure Tad, the ever-gallant hero, will rush to revive you, but with a kiss, perhaps. Spare me the theatrics. We'll just charm our victims over shrimp cocktail. Yes, well, they will be green with jealousy. <laughs> Do we make the loving couple? <clears throat> Please, not on an empty stomach. <laughs> I'm Valley Hospital. Now, all of the artwork Idiots. has been very Idiots. generously donated let, by the Hunter Gallery. Feast their eyes. And I would like to see each and every one of you oh, dig deep and bid high. Bye-bye.